guess to start off a statement, uh, you know, was uh, obviously we're happy to get the win. It was quite a uh, crazy game. It looked like, uh, you know, every, every puck that went towards the net had a chance of going in there for a while. So, uh, you know, being down 4-0 uh, after the first, uh, you know, we just talked about, uh, you know, let's give ourselves a chance to uh, be able to hold a heads high walking out of here. Let's go out and play hard. See what happens. A lot of a lot of hockey to be played, and uh, you know we were able to inch back, even though uh, it wasn't all that smooth uh, on, a, on a lot of different levels. But uh, really proud of uh, the way the the guys persevered, and uh, you know I think it, it it was a real uplifting uh, night for us. What's the bench like after you guys went down five two? Well, I think that, that that was a tough goal because, you know, we got it to 4-2 and felt like we was, you know, had grabbed momentum and, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, it, it was tough, but I think, uh, you know, the, it was a resilient group and they, uh, you know, they really battled through and I think the, the couple of goals there we got at the end of the uh, second were, uh, you know, were, were huge to kind of make that deficit a little bit smaller. What what did you see that made you pull the goalie after just the second goal? Well, I think I just think that both goals were uh, were not great goals. You know, both short side, really, not even necessarily scoring chances. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, you, every every, uh, every guy in that locker room's had had nights where we haven't been our best. So uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's really it's really about the fact that. Uh, our guys were able to pick it up after uh, after the puck seemed to get in our net awfully easily. Teddy, how critical was that play where you're down by two, Moses goes down, puts the puck in the net, comes off, and runs the whole bit and everything. And then the red light never flashed, but there was no goal. You guys seemed to use that momentum. You went down and scored two twice later in the period. Yeah, I think uh, I think I think we're, that makes us like one for five on the uh, on the scoring reviews on both sides of it. So we haven't been that fortunate. Uh, that was a huge save by uh, Steve. I think he uh, actually got pushed into the net with the puck after it. But uh, you know, uh, you know, I give UNH a lot of credit. I mean, they they had us on our heels early, and even though the you know they didn't necessarily have to work so hard on a couple of their goals, you could really see their speed and skill. Um, you know, I thought Moses was. Uh, you know, he was a concern for us all night, but uh, really happy. You know, some of our guys uh, were able to kind of battle through uh, what was a tough first period and come out and have a have a huge game for us. Ted, did something change in the third? You talk about being on your heels. I mean, you guys seem to really be able to kind of take the momentum and take it to them in the third period. Yeah, I think I think in the first period they you know they got a couple of, a couple of soft goals and that really kind of led to you know us being back on our heels and it looked like. Uh, you know they were they were playing at a different speed than we were, but uh, you know the second period we were able to kind of you know establish some some offensive zone time and, and really kind of get after them. In the third period, I thought uh, you know it was probably our best period. I thought we uh, you know really you know for the most part uh, you know up until about the a few minutes to go where they kind of turned it up a notch. Uh, you know I thought uh, we made a lot of good uh, good decisions with the puck and did a good job getting uh, getting the puck to the net. Teddy, obviously you brought Blackwell in to do just what he did tonight. Hopefully, be become a sniper for you there. And talk about his game tonight. Yeah, I mean he, he's uh, you know he's he just seems to be a guy that wants to be on the on the ice and, and you know in key situations. I thought he was excellent at the end of the game. Uh, scored a couple of big goals and uh, you know uh, really a, a credit to him. Uh, you know, he's. I think he's going to be a very ex exciting player for us. And uh, you know, I thought uh, his effort uh, all game long, as but especially in the third period, was outstanding. I'm talking about his effort, the goals he scored weren't really school goals. They were, you know, a guy his size going on than that. I mean, is that, is that a part of the game you expected to see this early? Yeah, I mean, uh, he really just uh, competes. You know, so hard. Uh, you know, he can skate. He's got great skills, but uh, he goes to the tough areas. He throws his body around, and uh, you know, I think there, you know, his his style of play and his work ethic, uh, you know, definitely uh, gives gives our bench a, a big boost. You only had the one goal coming in. Is it coming maybe a coming out party, a breakthrough kind of night for him? Yeah, I, yeah. 
he has one goal, but he had one that was called back that probably was a goal, and he had another one that it, that, I, that it looked like he deflected, but he didn't take the credit for it. But I think that's the that's the kind of guy he is. Um, you know, I, he's he's been uh, you know he's been a factor for us in a in a positive way. You know, uh, almost every night, and uh, you know we're you know we're, we're using him in all situations. So uh, you know he's an important part of our of our team, and uh, it was nice to see him have such a great third period tonight. You talk about Steve settling down after the uh, after the first. Yeah, I think uh, you know he made he made some big saves, but. Uh, you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a game where I thought either goalie really had a chance to settle down. The puck uh, just seemed to go in, and uh, you know he battled he battled through it just like uh, you know the rest of the team did. And uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, I think there's there's something real positive uh, for us in the fact that uh, you know we won't, were able to win a game that uh, maybe we didn't you know play perfectly, or we were able to score seven goals, which. Uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, there's been there's been some times when that's uh, that's been a uh, decent month for us. So uh, I think the guys, uh, you know, are, are very happy uh, that we came back and and you know we talked about going to the third that you know we really hadn't accomplished anything. We had got the game you know back to a goal, so at least we were in the game. But we really wanted to kind of push the pace, and I thought we were able to do that in the third. Along those same lines, does it give you a nice? confidence as a coach, hey, we can go down a few goals and still battle back, the teams aren't going to grow. Yeah, I, I mean, I, as a coach, you're much more pessimistic than that. I think you, you think, geez, you know, you know, we can't afford to go down, but it is, it, I think it's a boost to the, to the team to, to be able to come back like that, and I think, uh, you know, to be able to score some goals, uh, you know, when you're down, and, you know, I think that is definitely a big confidence booster.